Yo, what's up with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, as always. What's up, because Nikki Komori's out there is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Mania Wolverine. Of course, you guys, the rest of the intros and outros for his channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Before I begin, I'm sorry, my voice sounds a little bit funky. Ugh, just had to do, like, some overtime at my occupation, work, and shows. A little bit of a bitch today, because, man, woo! Too much extra fucking traffic all over the damn place. That is not fun. Anyways, I have two, um, not one, but two stories here for you today. Which the first one being that, um, this is a little bit of an older one. This happened about a week or two. This is YouTube compliments Nintendo for any restricted creators program. So I do probably, you guys are probably on the ball with this. So I'm going to go with this one first about Celeste and Windjammers coming for the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch. Limited run physical editions have been announced, which you know, I'm all about physical tangibility shit when it comes to like physical copies over to like digital one, even on granted by next year, it's probably going to be almost all digital in 2019, which kind of sucks, but it's just a sign of the times, you know, it's a drop of a fucking hat. So unfortunately, yeah, it is what it is, but I still like that they have a few of these really cool ass rare limited edition, wonderful looking, um, collectible um, unboxing um, <laughs> sort of material here. It's from limitedgames.com, so uh, I'm going to read this one first. It comes from Sal Romano, so shout out to them. Got a good credit card. This is a really, really super short um thing. Now, this is already gone, I think. It says December 1st, or November 21st, to December 1st. I don't know if it's still going to be going like that. Unless they push it all the way to like um, yeah, and Celeste Physical Edition will follow on January 1st, 2019. So this one's still going to be coming out, so that's cool. So it says, Limited Run Games has announced a limited print physical editions of the Windjammers for Switch and Celeste for the PS4, the PlayStation 4, and Switch. Windjammers Physical Edition will launch on this, will launch first on December 21st. Okay. And then it goes on to say, and the Celeste Physical Edition will follow on January 1st, 2019. Alright, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit, tiny bit more familiar with the Celeste series compared to um, Windman Jammers. But let's keep moving. So it says, both of the games will be available at limited time. <clears throat> limited run games, release store online. PS4 Switch and their Amu. There's all the little, like, things here. Play Asia and all these other little connections to it. Or company brands that are usually known by some gamers, maybe not all. It is what it is. Though. Overall thoughts, views, and opinions. This is probably gonna be like a six, seven minute video. By the way, I should have said that earlier. Maybe eight. I'm feeling lucky enough. Um, <laughs> this is really, really nice house design. I did look a little bit of backstory information about what when Jammers was originally about. I thought it was gonna be like a surfboarding game or like a mid late nineties. Um, if any people remember, because. I know it came out for the PlayStation Classic, too. They re-brought that game back. I think it was Cool Borders 2, Cool Borders 3. I thought it was going to be a game like that where it mixed with Jet Moto and you mix a lot of these, like, race tracking games, per se. I originally thought that's what my first idea was for this, um, for this, um, thing for about Windjammers. Not my first idea, but, like, the first thought that came into my head. That's why I was getting advised, because I was, like, a mid-late 80s, kind of, like, an early 90s, sort of, like, nostalgia sort of um <laughs> art design that it has i mean look at it it looks like something that would have like been in the mega man universe or fucking mr game and watch and i like it too i'm not bashing for it because the design looks like crap it looks freaking good and i guess it was like a remake or remaster of an older older game that came out like way before i even knew what games were it might have been it might have even been released even before i was around so there's that Oh, one other thing with the Celeste thing. I don't know why, but it just looks like... <laughs> I don't know why. This character reminds me a lot of, like, the Frisk and then that other chick from Undertale in the Deltarune series game. Because I think it was an indie game originally, and then Celeste started blowing up a lot in popularity. And it got a lot more popular as time went along. I think it's supposed to be, like, a, um, a cross-platformer game. Not a cross-platformer game, but, like, a, just a platformer side-scroller sort of game. But with a few modern-day, like, touches and tips. You get what I mean. I mean, the girl, I know there's like this dark blue evil one. She's the bad one. The other one's a really, really good one. I haven't played any of the games or Celeste. I've really, really got to get into that. Eventually, one of these days. Hopefully, that does happen. 
So there's that news. And uh, let's get on to the older news. That's about a week and a half, two weeks old already. But it's in case anyone's been living under a rock out there, my friends. I got your back. So it says, um, this came from a day ago from Galjo. So yeah, I'm going to get some water. My voice is sounding really weird right now. Uh, all right, there we go. Hopefully this works sooner or later. I got to like close out that window. Maybe that's what's making it go slow. All right. So, uh, da, 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 come on. Still saying the same thing. YouTube Compost Antenna for ending restricted creators program. Hopefully I have to keep doing massive amounts of parts. So it says previously we reported that Nintendo was finally closing down creators program. Essentially content creators can no longer have to get consistent, excuse me, constant approvals from Nintendo Japan in order to post videos. Oh, wow. That went a little too fast. <sighs> All right. I'm going to have to go back up a little bit there because that was kind of weird how that happened. I don't know if I read this story before or not. If I did, I apologize. So let's, let's, let's fucking go. Here we go. Now it seems like the YouTube themselves are putting are pretty happy with this decision as well. According to the recent interview with VentureBeat, YouTube gaming director Ryan Watt commended Nintendo for finally opening up to YouTubers again. He goes on to say, quote, I guess it's coming from one of, I guess, the marketing strategists for Nintendo or YouTube, one of the two. I don't know. We obviously have community guidelines, but we've been happy to, with look, look at Nintendo announce, Nintendo's announcement. Where they're embracing game creators and allowing them to monetize on the platform. I think we're making great progress in that regard. We try to be an open platform for and any and allow anyone any content that comes up with any other content that comes up. But certainly we have community guidelines for the people need to adhere to adhere to. We try to embrace that freedom of the platform, unquote. This is a pretty stark contrast to Wyatt's comics last November, where he felt that Nintendo should be treating YouTubers better. Overall, things are starting to look up for the YouTubers who love Nintendo games. Uh, link sources over there. Overall thoughts and opinions on this right here. I'm really, really glad they got rid of that fucking piece of garbage on um, creators program. Because, you know, number one, two main reasons is that because they really, really just wanted to push people like, Really, really big um, YouTubers out there that don't even care about games that much. Actually, these two I know is I Justine. I know she's a legend. On um, her and uh, this other dude named Andre Blackner Gaming Comedy. I'm not sure if he's really into like games or not. I know he did a couple of reactions to like a lot of Pokemon games and Smash Bros games as well. I'm not sure he's like faking those reactions or he's actually like being legit and honest with them. Very genuine reactions. I don't know. It's always up in the air with that. I know there was another one. I think she has like six or seven million subscribers. I used to be subscribed to her back in the day. as like four or five years ago. Named Tiffany um, Rodriguez. If any people remember her, I think her name was I Has Cupquake. I know she's got about six or seven million subscribers. Last time I checked, it was like two million. So very super relevant chick in this gaming industry. And in like gaming Let's Plays in general. So hopefully good stuff happens to them. Hopefully they keep it like this. I'm just worried about 2019 because I know they were saying something about the article session 13, possibly making the internet like only available for very rich, sophisticated people and celebrities, which really, really suck. That means you won't be able to hear hear my voice or like see me do chat and breezes anymore if they put laws and restrictions in a place like that and start abusing the system. Which I hope that doesn't happen, but it is what it is. I was gonna do like an extra Dragon Ball Super thing in our Dragon Ball Z Super Broly movie because. They did talk about Frieza when he was younger, but I'll probably do it either later on or tomorrow. So that pretty much wraps up the video, and I'm out of here. Links is scripture box down below, cartel on the side, and I'm out. Peace hells out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, as always. I'm talking to Nikki Commodities out there. I'll see you when I see you guys every day. Have a good night wherever you're at around the world out there. I'm drinking some over at the same time. Don't the reckless. Stay tuned for more future content and article session reviews on this channel, including video gaming industry news, anime manga news, internet news, and that wraps up the video. Take it easy, stay safe. Peace out, Molly Sauerkraut. Ladies and goodbye. We'll see you all on the flip side. Take it easy. I'm gone. I'm out. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more future content and videos on this channel and all the other good stuff. And I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy, and I'm gone. Later.